In classical mechanics, Euler's rotation equations are a vectorial quasilinear first order ordinary differential equation describing the rotation of a rigid body, using a rotating reference frame with its axes fixed to the body and parallel to the body's principal axes of inertia. Their general form is I omega plus omega times I omega equals M display style math BF I dot bold symbol Omega plus bold symbol Omega times left math BF I bold symbol Omega right equals math BF M where M is the applied torques I is the inertia matrix and Omega is the angular velocity about the principal axes in 3d principal orthogonal coordinates they become I 1 Omega 1 plus i 3 minus i 2 omega 2 omega 3 equals m 1 i 2 omega 2 plus i 1 minus i 3 Omega three Omega one equals M two I three Omega three plus I two minus I one Omega one Omega two equals M three display style begin aligned I underscore one dot Omega underscore one plus I underscore three I underscore two Omega underscore two Omega underscore three and equals M underscore one I underscore two dot Omega underscore two plus I underscore one I underscore three Omega underscore three Omega underscore one and equals M underscore two I underscore Score three dot omega underscore three plus I underscore two I underscore one omega underscore one omega underscore two and equals M underscore three end aligned where MK are the components of the applied torques, IK are the principal moments of inertia and omega K are the components of the angular velocity about the principal axes. Topic Motivation and derivation Starting from Newton's second law, in an inertial frame of reference subscripted in the time derivative of the angular momentum L equals the applied torque d L in d T equals d E F d d T I in omega equals M in Display style FRAC D Math BF L underscore text in DT Stackrel Mathem def equals FRAC D DT left Math BF I underscore text in bold symbol Omega right equals Math BF M underscore text in where I I N is the moment of inertia tensor calculated in the inertial frame. Although this law is universally true, it is not always helpful in solving for the motion of a general rotating rigid body, since both I I N and omega can change during the motion. Therefore, we change to a coordinate frame fixed in the rotating body, and chosen so that its axes are aligned with the principal axes of the moment of inertia tensor. In this frame, at least the moment of inertia tensor is constant and diagonal, which simplifies calculations. As described in the moment of inertia, the angular momentum L can be written L equals D E F L one E one plus L two E two plus L three E three equals i 1 omega 1 e 1 plus i 2 omega 2 e 2 plus i 3 omega 3 e 3 
Display style Math BF L Stackrel Mathem Def equals L underscore one Math BF E underscore one plus L underscore two Math BF E underscore two plus L underscore three Math BF E underscore three equals I underscore one Omega underscore one Math BF E underscore one plus I underscore two Omega underscore two Math BF E underscore two plus I underscore three Omega underscore three Math BF E underscore three where mk, ik and omega k are as above. In a rotating reference frame, the time derivative must be replaced with see time derivative in rotating reference frame d l d t r o t plus omega times l equals m Display style left frac d math bf l d t right underscore mathrm rot plus bold symbol omega times math bf l equals math bf m, where the subscript rot indicates that it is taken in the rotating reference frame. The expressions for the torque in the rotating and inertial frames are related by m in equals q m Display style math bf m underscore text in equals math bf q math bf m, where q is the rotation tensor, not rotation matrix, an orthogonal tensor related to the angular velocity vector by omega times v equals q q minus one v. Display style bold symbol omega times bold symbol v equals dot math bf q math bf q caret minus one bold symbol v for any vector v. In general, L equals I omega is substituted, and the time derivatives are taken, realizing that the inertia tensor and so also the principal moments do not depend on time. This leads to the general vector form of Euler's equations. I omega plus Omega times I Omega equals M display style math BF I dot bold symbol Omega plus bold symbol Omega times left math BF I bold symbol Omega right equals math BF M if principal axis rotation L K equals D E F I K Omega K Display style L underscore K stackrel Mathem def equals I underscore K Omega underscore K is substituted, and then taking the cross product and using the fact that the principal moments do not change with time, we arrive at the Euler equations in components at the beginning of the article. Torque-free solutions For the RHS is equal to zero there are non-trivial solutions, torque-free precession. Notice that if I is constant, because the inertia tensor is the 3 times 3 identity matrix, because we work in the intrinsic frame, or because the torque is driving the rotation around the same axis n hat n so that i is not changing then we may write m equals d e f i d omega d t n caret equals i alpha n caret Display style math BF M stackrel mathem def equals I frac D Omega DT math BF hat N equals I alpha math BF hat N where alpha is called the angular acceleration or rotational acceleration about the rotation axis N carrot display style math BF hat N However, if I is not constant in the external reference frame i.e. the body is moving and its inertia tensor is not the identity then we cannot take the i outside the derivative. 
In this case we will have torque-free precession, in such a way that I t and omega t change together so that their derivative is zero. This motion can be visualized by Poinsett's construction. Generalizations It is also possible to use these equations if the axes in which d l d t r e l a t i v e Display style left frac d math bf l d t right underscore mathrm relative is described are not connected to the body. Then omega should be replaced with the rotation of the axes instead of the rotation of the body. It is, however, still required that the chosen axes are still principal axes of inertia. This form of the Euler equations is useful for rotation symmetric objects that allow some of the principal axes of rotation to be chosen freely. See also Rigid rotor Euler angles Galois axis Dijanabekov effect McCullough ellipsoid Moment of inertia Poinsett's construction Rigid rotor <laughs>